welcome back to my third week of flipping through my December daily. I have been doing very well keeping up with it. I am proud of myself. If you've done this project, you know that sometimes it can be a trying project when things get crazy. So I left off on page 15 in my book. Sorry, I've over flipped it there. Okay, this is where I left off. So this was day 15. Day 16, so I did a non-Christmas-esque um, page right now. Um, so these are all using um, collections from the, it's called Fancy Free from Paige Evans. And I did a screenshot of my channel. This month I hit 6,000 subscribers. Um, I think it's a little bit more now, um, but at the time it was 6,020 and I posted this screenshot with oh my god and, um, and the arrows and such. And I am just truly thankful and blessed uh, to have so many wonderful friends and followers on my channel. And honestly, this time last year in my December Daily, I had documented um, when I hit 2,000 people. And it was a whole like little day spread too, just to tell the story. So in a year, I have grown for with 4,000 more subscribers, and I couldn't thank you enough for always spending a little time with me here in my corner of the internet. So that is my day 16, is just how thrilled and proud I am to have so many wonderful full subscribers um, to my art and scrapbooking and mixed media channel. <laughs> <laughs> so day 17 also has this little tip in only because I did my Christmas cards this year and I kept one um, for my December daily so that is us you probably saw the picture posted on my Instagram feed when I took it um, but remember back on the 7th whenever we did our photos this night this is the night I made that so I just kept the actual envelope I did mine um, what did I do it through? I want to say it was Vista Prints. And I got the little emblem for a Montero family. And I just stuck some uh, scrap scrapbook paper so that it was a tip and I didn't have to hole punch my actual envelope. So that's a little way to kind of do that. So that's what I kind of took a picture of when I was writing them all out. And then Miguel, and if you don't know already, we are diehard <laughs> Dolphin fans. And so on the 17th, they played the Jets, and we did beat them. <laughs> so right before, uh, we, he was wearing all of his Dolphin outfits. And if you can see the picture, um, we have the car flags, too. We're, we're, that, we're those people. <laughs> and on this day... Um, he got a haircut and had an eye exam and then like the last little point I also ran I keep I kid you not so I dropped him off in order to watch the game I went food shopping for us and on the way back I drove so I guess a painter person dropped a whole uh, like paint in the street and I ran through it and came home and we had it completely like clean the car on the right side because it was covered in splattered blue paint oh yeah Good stuff, good fun, good good times. <laughs> um, day 18 was just me talking about my lovely Starbucks mug. I did buy one of the Keeper uh, Winter Red Cup mugs, so I literally have used it every single day. And I did have this little uh, gift card just as a key ring earlier on, but I put one of the little Mombi Bingo chips under the Starbucks logo and added up a little piece of black and white ribbon behind it and did my journaling just along the perimeter like that. So I have enjoyed using it very much. I think I used that cup and only that cup to go to work with <laughs> and to sip around the house. And so I kept the box. I'll put it away for the you know season and then always break it out. So it's really a special cup for me. Um, I always keep one of these bags from Starbucks as well. In last year's um, book, it's where I will store all of my Christmas cards that I receive that are all over like my fridge and in my house, so all of the photo postcards. It's a nice little idea. It's a good little size. Um, so I already have it pre-hole punched and ready to go in there. Day 19, I wanted to document because on this Monday, well, in, in general for the month, I have been getting tremendously into the Christmas spirit, spirit by playing Pandora Christmas music all day long. I made this one a shake a pocket. So some of my favorites are the Michael Blue Bay, um, Lady L Antebellum, of course, Mariah Carey, um, the Ellen DeGeneres like mix is fun. I have Charlie 
uh, Brown and Frank Sinatra. And then, believe it or not, I haven't seen that many Christmas movies. I know. And I had it one time to tell me which ones I should watch. So I did watch this month um, The Elf and The Christmas Story. Um, I like this one. This one was very funny and this one was charming. This one was really cute. I love all the narration from him. So it was a good uh, mix to add to my daily routines in December. Uh, day 20, I just wanted to document, um, if you know from my earlier one, you know that I have been laid off, so I'm applying for a new employment. And so I have to submit, like, my diploma and my Cairo license and all of these, like, fun paperwork and your resume and all this other stuff. So I'm journaling um, about that a little bit. But we figured it out, and Miguel said that if I can just at least get a part-time job, we shall be good. So that way I can do LuLaRoe and concentrate, you know, on my channel and stuff and, and just kind of get back my happiness since being knocked down a little bit. Um, so I put some reindeer stickers on the outside and then I also filmed, uh, you probably saw it too, this layout which is on my channel. I used all of the Starbucks coffee cups in my round circle punch and did that pretty layout so I just wanted to put that in there too. Then day 21, my sister lives in Jersey. She did visit um, earlier. You saw her in my book. So this is her and her boyfriend, um, Joey, that they live in Jersey or North Jersey. So day 21, this is some ribbon. This background paper is Deck the Halls from American Crafts. These, um, these two are from, just so I can go over supplies, the North Pole Gazette from Michaels. And then this paper is from the Hot Cocoa line from um, American Crafts that you saw in the beginning and the same with all these. These are all hot cocoa pieces. Okay, So she saw Santa Claus again with Joey at, the, at some zoo, the Turtle Bag Zoo and Holiday Lights 2016 and I put some of these stickers. These are glitter stickers from Hobby Lobby and these are thickers, a silver set. And then I did my journaling on a tag and I put some twine at the top. And she's really happy. She, he was, um, they've been together for a while, but I just wrote about how, like, Joey's really special, um, and, and loves my sister, and she's happy, so therefore we're all happy, and, you know, when you always have your sister find someone good, it's, it's, it's nice to document. So Joey's a good guy. So we're happy. Okay, then day 22 I made as a two-page spread. Um, I took a little photo session with my two doxies and some Christmas lights. This is Zoe, my older one, if you haven't, if you don't know, and Kobe is my rescue. And so the story is just about Kobe, and I put this picture on a piece of acetate that has some gold dots. This is from We Are Memory Keepers. And so the story is, if if you know, if you have a rescue, you can relate. Um, something clicked this month for him. On a good note, uh, I think, I don't know, you know, his past life. He's a rescue. Um, we got him at a, sh a shelter um, and then in foster care, I think. So previous to that, I don't know much about where he was brought up or anything like that. Um, but this month, I think he finally eased into the idea that this is his forever home um, and definitely has bonded with me like a lot and he follows me around wherever I go like if I leave this room he'll follow me he's sitting right at my feet on my foot in fact um, he waits for me outside the bathroom door he defends me like when me and Miguel are like you know wrestling around and stuff or giving you know little pinches on each other's butts he doesn't like it um, it's it's endearing it's I love him for I guess realizing that we're not getting rid of him you know, I'm just emotional rock. But if you under if you have a rescue and you you know what I mean about when your rescue like finally just like unconditionally falls in love with you, that happened with Kobe with with us um, this month, and it's and it's a beautiful thing. And I can only imagine what he's gone through previous to me finding him. Um, but yeah, I can have him follow me around for forever. It's it's really fun. So that's my little heartwarming story about my rescue and how he has settled. You know, there's no more accidents in the house, too. You know, like we've been dealing with that for a little bit. Um, but he's he's learned. It just it, all of a sudden like something changed. Something shifted this month. That's all. I, that's a story. Um, it's a it's a pretty story with that. So if you have a rescue, you can relate. <laughs> Let me know a comment down below how you if this has happened to you because it's really a beautiful thing. 
And then day 23 was, um, <laughs> I'm a foodie as well. And look at how cool this picture is. It's an aerial view of our table. Um, some of my good friends that used to live here that moved to Vegas, she's visiting town. And she's a food blogger. And we got to go eat at a restaurant called The Burger Stop here in, Cor in Corcoonet Creek in South Florida. And with her connections, I guess, they let us kind of try a lot of the food on the menu because she was writing like a whole like review and needed photos and doing this whole photography thing. Um, so it was the biggest meal truly probably hit a level of gluttony. <laughs> <laughs> but the picture is gorgeous and so it definitely documents day 23 also day 23 um good things happened uh for miguel so we went out to dinner later that night so this was lunch and then later that night we went out to dinner at our favorite restaurant called the yard house in boca and it was just close-up pictures of what we ordered and i ordered like one of the sample f uh, flights of beer and the numbers I'm using, these 23, these are from an old collection from Maggie Holmes that I hadn't used that I broke out for this and I made my own tag and did my journaling on the back and did stapled some ribbon and did some washi tape from Michaels here. Um, again, the acetate is from We Are Memory Keepers. It's like a whole pad of it that I had. And I just thought it was di a different page to add in. It was fun. And I did have, like this was from a, a layout and I I think I wanted to put this here so that the 23 stands out more, but it slipped off because clearly I didn't glue it yet. <laughs> All right, so that's where I'm at. So that's the following week after the 15th. Um, I ha I'm going to go through December 31st. I like to do the whole month of December and not stop at Christmas. So I do have Christmas Eve is next to do and Christmas Day. I'm going to have to add a couple more inserts. Um, and then the slow week. Um, so it's going good. I, I like where it's at. I hope you're getting some inspiration. Uh, also, this was just some ribbon that I glued there. I just always want to tell you the supplies in case this was a button from Recollections. It's a flat back button brad. In case you have any questions on the supplies that I'm using. And that's it in day 16. So this was all the Faith Evans Fancy Free. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me. I hope you're doing your December daily well. I hope everyone's having a good, happy holidays. I know Christmas is around the corner. And if you're watching this, probably Christmas already happened <laughs> later on. Um, but it, it's, a, it's a wonderful time of the year. And it, I'm definitely glad I do this project each year. It's um, something to always look back on and remember all of the just what, what you're going through, you know? You know, looking for a new job and stuff. Things that you might forget that with the project makes it kind of live forever. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.